What do you think about these guys who got these pants way down on their tush? You know, like halfway down. You know, pull up your pants, man. You know, it's, it's bad manners to walk around your pants halfway down. You're, up, you're behind. I see these kids on the, on the uh, bus and walk around the store. They think they're tough because it's like a gang uh, type uh, way to, it's like their style. Some gangs do that. They get their pants way down on their tush. Not all of them. Most of them, got, you know, wear their pants regular. But these guys got their pants way down. I don't know how they can walk like that. I'm like, how can, I, I wanted to ask this one kid on the bus, like about, you know, 16, 17. I was like, how can you walk like that, you know? And they run by the magazine rack. I think I said something when he kids. I'm thinking, how can you walk like that with your pants halfway down your behind? Your pants away. Come on, pull them off. Be a man. Suck in that gut and use a belt. You know, wear your pants regular, man. It's disgusting. And they got their under, half their underpants are showing because they got their pants halfway down their behind. That's bad manners. And I don't like guys, uh, you know, sitting in a restaurant with these dinky winky little silk shorts on that are like skin tight and I go up into their crotch. It's gross. I don't want to see that when I'm sitting in a restaurant or in McDonald's eating. You know, dress like a man. If you're going to wear shorts, wear men's shorts. Don't. Don't wear these stinky little things that look like underpants. You know, they go up in your crotch and they're so stinking tight. What are you trying to show your show your genitals or something? You, you see the shape of that in the pant, and it, it looks it looks faggoty, okay? And if you get offended by that, say whatever you want. I'm not trying to pick on the gay guys because that some of them are pretty nice guys and stuff. Like those guys who were on Jerry Springer when I was on. They're nice guys, but still, I don't have to agree. And it's okay to disagree, and it's okay to speak out against something if it's wrong. If people talk about tolerance, tolerance, there's something you're not supposed to tolerate. God doesn't tolerate everything. There's a thing called sin, and we're all sinners. And if you just say everything's okay, and you know, it doesn't matter if we sin, you know, the fact that we're sinners is what drives us to be saved, because we admit we're sinners. We admit that we've sinned, and we realize that we've all, we're all guilty before God. But if you ask Jesus into your heart, he'll forgive you and he'll save you and give you everlasting life for free. It's free to you and me, but it costs Jesus his blood on Calvary's tree. And Jesus saves sinners and Jesus loves the sinners, but you have to invite him in. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's that simple, it's that easy. If you know you're a sinner, you know you're lost, you know you need Jesus in your heart, invite him in and he will save you and give you eternal life, and that's for anybody. You don't have to join a church, you don't have to speak in tongues, and you don't have to be religious. You may have never been to church in your life, and you can get saved. A lot of people that never been to church can get saved more easily because they're not so doctrinated with all this religion like good deeds outweighing your bad. That's baloney. Your good deeds can never outweigh your bad because you're still a sinner. We're all sinners. I sin every day, I admit it. Just like Russ Tamlin said in Satan Say It's the movie, which is a prequel to Dracula vs. Frankenstein, directed by Al, Al Adamson. By the way, I met Al Adamson like five months before he died. Back at the Children's Theater Convention in 94, May 94, about five months later, he got murdered. You know, he got buried under his hot tub at his house. But I met him and his uh, former girlfriend, Stevie Ashlock, real nice lady. She's a contemporary Christian singer. She does like contemporary music. She's a model. Really nice. She was the nicest person at that convention. Very friendly, goes around talking to you. Saying hi, real friendly. God bless her. And then Sam Sherman, the producer, him and Al Adamson, great guys, real friendly. I got my picture taken with him. It's up on my Facebook page, The Rock Meets Celebrities. But back to what I was saying, Russ Tamlin says in Satan Sadist, he says, Yeah, I am a rotten, you know, beep, I admit it. But I'll tell you something, even though I got a lot of hate inside, I got some friends who ain't got, I got some friends who ain't got hate inside. They're filled with nothing but love. Their only crime is letting their hair grow long, smoke a little grass, getting high, looking at the stars at night. And what do you do? You bust down their doors, man. You bust down their doors and you bust down their heads. And then they play the music. I was born, mean, bon, bon. By the time I was 12, they called me, called me Satan. Mm. It sounds like the church lady. Could it be Satan? You know, church lady on Saturday Night Live. You know, Dan, Dana Carvey. I like how he imitates Bush. He goes, Will, Will, Saddam, you know, we ain't gonna mess with you. You know, you're really a lion in sheep's clothing. 
Now, Saddam, we're going to get you. No, we're not gonna take it no more. This is this is your President Bush talking. Now, Saddam, your children sir, wander aimlessly, and uh, they shall not know where their father's bones are buried. You know, he's on a Saturday Night Live. It was just a joking around. But you know, he does a good Bush imitation. You know, Bush Senior. Not 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 not. Jo I'm talking about George A. Bush, not G.W. Not, this was like in like 91 during, uh, you know, they were they on Saturday Night Live. I, he does a great Bush imitation. Okay, anyway, <laughs> that was funny. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, like I'm saying, I forgot what I was talking about now. I was talking about, uh, I was talking about Sam Sherman, Al Adamson, Dracula vs. Frank. Oh, yeah. I was talking about how we're all sinners. Like Russ Timlin says in Satan Says, he goes, in the trailer goes, yeah, I am a rotten beep, you know. I admit it, but I tell you something. Even though I got a lot of hate inside, I got some friends who ain't got hate inside. They're filled with nothing but love. Their only crime is letting their hair grow long, smoke a little grass, getting high, looking at the stars at night, writing poetry in the sand. And what do you do? You bust down their doors, man. You bust down their doors and you bust on their heads. You dumb cop. <laughs> that's he said that in the trailer, but no, I, I like cops. I, that, that's what Russ Tamlin says in that movie, which is the prequel to Dracula vs. Frankenstein, directed by Al Adamson, whom I met at Chiller Theater '94. But okay, I've said enough. God, that's good Java. Yeah, I gotta have something to keep up my time while I'm waiting for my ride here. But anyway, like I said, we're all sinners, and Jesus saves sinners. So you know, ask Jesus in your heart; he'll save you. Amen, brother. Ah, that's good preaching. That's good preaching. Preach it strong, Rock. Yeah, I like I like my Java like I like life. Strong with some sugar in it. That's right. And I like I like my coffee like I like my women. Hot. <laughs> you know. Hey, well, you know, I'm a human being too. There's nothing wrong with being attracted to women. At least it shows I'm normal. But you know what? I'm not trying to pick on the gay people because Jesus loves them. It's just that. I don't have to agree with a lifestyle because, you know, the Bible does say thou shalt not lay with mankind as with womankind. It says that in Lamentations. It says that in the Bible. And it also, it also says that, um, uh, you know, God created Adam, then he created Eve from one of his ribs. You know, we're made in the image of God. God made Eve for Adam, who was a woman. He didn't make another man for Eve. You know, that sets the example for us, you know. It's a normal attraction. And uh, it talks about also that in the New Testament. It talks about, you know, in the in the latter days, men will be lover of their own, of their own selves. And they'll, they'll be covetous, you know, blasphemous, liars. You know, we're all sinners, though. We've all lied. I admit I've lied. We've all lied sometime. Now. We've all sinned. And I'm not just picking on those people because I sin, too, like lust. You know, lustful thoughts about women. You know, that's normal to be attracted to women. But, you know, also, you know, sometimes we fantasize in our mind what we'd like to do with some woman that, you know, we shouldn't be with. You know, like someone else's woman. You shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't be thinking like that. That's that's dirty. That's that's sin, brother. <laughs> but, you know, I, you know, I'm not trying to laugh about it because, you know, I'm a man, you know, we are attracted to women. It's only natural that we're attracted to women. That's the way God made us. So don't apologize for being attracted to a woman. That's not sin. That's normal. But I'm talking about, you know, lusting and uh, entertaining that thought in your mind and imagining, like, having sex with that woman that you're not married to, you know. That's lust, brother. But on the other hand, at least it shows that you're a man. So, you know, at least it shows that I'm a man. Hey, I've, I've had sex with women before, so you know I'm a sinner. I know it, but there's not. But it's not wrong. Sex in itself is not wrong. You're just not supposed to do it before marriage, and you're not supposed to do it with uh, someone else's wife and things like that. So you know that's what you call adultery. But you know we're all guilty of a lot of these things. I know I am. I had sex with women before when I was in the Marines. Hey, I'm gonna shut up. I'm not saying I'm a sinner. Okay. I'm not saying you should do that. Don't don't be like me. Don't be a bad sinner like the rock. But I'll tell you what, I did ask Jesus in my heart later, and Jesus did save me. So I'm saved by grace, not by my works. 
Jesus saves sinners. He can save the worst sinner in the world. If you call on Jesus and ask him in your heart, he'll save you because Paul was the chief of sinners and Jesus saved him. So if he, God can save Paul, he can save anybody. Amen. Even me. I'll drink to that. It's a nice hot java. Ah, that's good java. 